guys and welcome back to Death Spider here. Alright, so when you spawn into this game, or welcome back to the Trials of Wilderness. This is a game I just started playing to try out, and uh, it's a survival game obviously. When you spawn in, one of the first places you spawn is going to be next to a building like this. To get into this building, if you walk up to it, you'll notice that there's savages inside, as they're called in the game. So we've got two of those in there. We've gone ahead. We already have our tamed wolf. He's armored up and ready to go. I hope. Let's see. He's uh, if you stare at him. He, well, he's about to die. <laughs> so this might might not be the best time to do this. But I've got a shotgun, so we should be okay. <laughs> All right. So we've gone ahead and built a catapult, and this is going to be my first attempt to break into a building. In order to get in the building, according to this tutorial, you have to have a catapult. And uh, so we place the catapult. You can move it around by pressing E and position it to aim better. You have a lever back here to fire, E to load, a T to show slash hide help, and E to put stone. We've got 10 stones on us, so hopefully that's enough. Like I said, I've never done this before, so we're about to find out. So let's go ahead and load it up. So we've got a stone on there. Let's uh, hold E to load. So we're going to wind it back. And then press E to fire. Wow. <laughs> is there any way to aim it down or am I got to build another one of these? Oh my god. Uh <laughs> Well that's uh that's not good. I guess we need to put it farther back. Alright, let's see how bad that was again. Um I guess I'll go back and build another one of these, because I don't think we can move these. Oh wait, I wonder if maybe if I don't pull it back so far it won't go it won't fly as far. Let's do a fire. Yeah, we're way over the top. So let's put a stone. Oh, that takes three stone per shot. Wow. Wolf got the way. All right, let's do like a like a quarter. Oh, he's down. So if your wolf goes down, all you gotta do is hit tab. If you got some food on you, just drop it, and you'll see reviving in X amount of time. So we'll give him a chance to revive. Once he revives, I'll be back. Cause while he's reviving, I'm gonna go grab some stone. Okay guys, and we're back. Uh, the wolf's revived, so we're going to grab the leftover meat that he didn't use to revive with. We're going to press Z as in Zulu. You'll see the yellow circle above his back. That means he's following us again. Uh, we've got this like at a 20-ish percent cocked rate, so we're going to go ahead and fire it and see if it'll hit this building now. See if the wolf gets out the way. So it hit. I don't know if it did any damage or not. So... I brought some extra stone, like a lot of extra stone. So we're going to try and go a little bit farther this time. Yeah, about right there. Let's say, uh, and let's fire again. Hmm. We're going to get in this building somehow, some way. That's all I know. Yep, there we go. So, so we got the wall down in like three shots. Hit R to reload. I'm currently wearing iron armor, by the way. I'm just using the uh, first round of shotgun shells, the sulfur, sulfur shells. So, so far I've killed like three or four of these guys. I've yet to be able to loot a body. I don't know, maybe if we use the axe. Usually you have to like, let's try that. Nope. All right, looks like we can't loot bodies. Our wolf's down, so we're going to want to drop some meat for him. Alright, so two pieces of meat was enough. He's trying to revive now. While he's doing that, we're going to walk in here. So we've got a crafting table. What is this? this is, uh, we got a chest here with some iron ingots in it. Some iron on top of rope. There we go. So seven more ingots, four pieces of rope, eight arrows, 14 more ingots, 70. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So we can't use their stuff, but we did break into the building and kill them. And that is, uh, <laughs> that's how to raid buildings. Is there a guy back here? Or what am I seeing? I thought there's a, is that a savage? Oh, wow, they're already respawning. That's, that's scary. Oh, no, they're just showing up through the wood. Did somebody else see? Okay, y'all see that, right? <laughs> we have ghost savages hanging out <laughs> inside by the workbench. 
and outside the back side of the building. That's uh, that's pretty scary. Because the savages do tons of damage, guys. Like if you look at me when I hit tab, I've got iron boot. I've got a full iron armor set. That's the highest armor level you can get. I'm currently using the shotgun with the just the basic shotgun shells. You actually you can make those like from like day one if you get stone and sulfur. I do have a few of the better one or better shells that are the premium shells. They do a lot more damage. However, I'm saving those because I've heard of some sounds out here at night that are terrifying. I've been attacked by these flaming fire bats at night that like fly around the sky. You gotta knock them out of the sky. I killed the first one with a crossbow. I've never used the actual bow. I just because I lost it on my first day, but I used the crossbow. I think it's a great weapon. You can get your arrows back. It does a ton of damage. It doesn't take durability loss, which I have it right here. So if you just like if you shoot an arrow, you aim in by holding the right mouse button and then you just left click, you shoot an arrow. It pretty much one shots most things. Except for like bears and crocodiles. And of course the savages, they take a ton of damage. So before you fight any savages, I would advise oh wait, oh there's a whole other room. That's what this is. Okay, I see now. So how close is the wolf? He's just... Oh, drop I didn't drop enough food. Oh no. Am I gonna Ooh, sh We might lose the wolf, guys. Oh my god. That's uh we're gonna try to run over here and get the, get some food real quick. <laughs> Maybe the revive will pick back up where it left off. So this is my base. <laughs> we're gonna run in here, we're gonna grab some raw meat and try to make it back in time. Alright, we'll grab ten pieces of that. Run faster. Oh no. I haven't tamed an animal yet. Like I've yet to tame anything, so I don't want to lose my wolf if I can help it. He does. He tanks a lot for you. Oh, 24 seconds. New. Okay, so that's it. Tab. Let's drop our meat. He's reviving at 70. Oh, this is. Uh, I don't think we're gonna make it. We got 10 seconds to do. Yeah, we're not gonna make it. He's gonna die. We're gonna lose our wolf. This is bad. I'm gonna have to figure out how to tame a wolf again. You can breed animals and tame animals. Maybe. Oh, that's man, that sucks. So we lost the wolf. Two pieces of meat, not enough to raise a wolf. I did not know that. We're gonna go ahead and take his meat <laughs> and his hide. So if you're trying to harvest animals, you got have to hit them with the axe. And then we're gonna pull the shotgun out. We're gonna go ahead and try to handle this on our own. I think this is a door, right? So the savages are in there. We just need to... I guess we got to break down more more stuff. So let's load this bad boy back up. We're going to hold E, crank it back down a little bit. And let's fire away. Did you load? Okay. Right. Uh, let's crank it back again. Should 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 be able to break through this down. Oh, maybe we're hitting the roof. Two shots from the shotgun will get him with the basic shells. So we got revenge for our wolf. <laughs> let's uh, let's get in here and see if we can't find some more stuff. So there's an, another bed, a forge. Looks like two more chests. We don't need so all these stone. Wait, oh, that's an iron. It's an iron axe. We'll take that. These are all stone. If you look, if you look right here, it'll tell you what it is. So we don't care about the stone stuff. We will take the sulfur. Is we'll have to make another trip back. Well, we can take the arrows. Take some of the sulfur. 
And of course it falls on the ground. We'll we'll go ahead and drop this rock right here, because I'd rather have the sulfur than the rock. So we've got two, nine, we'll we'll make a trip back, unload, and uh yeah. So there guys, that's how you use the catapult on this game. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. And this is just a building. There's an actual entire village. There's castles, village, you got the shop, a uh, castle. Let me let me turn this back on real quick so y'all can see it. So we turn the marker markers pane on. If you look up here, so the skull, it's just where you've died at. I've died twice in this game from cold damage and just getting stuck on the graphics. Uh, but you can see the shop, you can see caves, you can see a castle. If you click the question mark here, it'll tell you more details about what it is. Uh, certain places you can't go into until you have enough armor. The game tells you, hey, you're not ready. Don't go there. Uh, same thing uh, here. So we're going to turn these off for now, or we're going to turn this paint off because you can select what you want to see and not see. So that's a cave, obviously. That's a castle. Um, there's like a dungeon. There's random buildings with chests in it. There's this thing. If you look, let me see, where is it at? It's hard to see because it's green. Let me see. It should be over here somewhere. Alright, there's the mountain. So we should see another graphic where we placed a trap. Like I said, it's hard to see because it's green. Maybe I'm blind, but... I'm pretty sure it's right here somewhere. It was. Yeah, so we placed a trap there. So you see we caught a horse. So we put down a bear trap with sugar on it, and it grabbed us a horse. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go back. We're going to unload the inventory. We're going to get a net. And if you want to see me try to capture and tame the horse... You have to check out the other video. I'm having another video on how to do that. Because this video is strictly for using a catapult to break into buildings. But as always, guys, if you're interested in this game, you think it's cool. I think it's cool because it's a different type of survival game. It's like subsistence meets forest. So it's pretty, pretty good, to, in my opinion. Just with the animal taming, animal breeding, your animals fight with you. You can put armor on your animals. You can make armor and weapons for yourself. You've got guns, you've got crafting, you've got base building. Uh, as far as things to hunt, there's crocodiles, deer, wolves, as you hear. Wait, there's something after me. You got rats to kill, and you can sell their pelts off. You can use them for meat. But this is just like my first base, my basic building, me learning how to play. Uh, you can build ballistas with ballista arrows to do damage to bigger enemies which I have not I haven't seen anything I would think to use that for you see a griffin flying around the top of that mountain I haven't tried fighting him yet I'm gonna build a hunting rifle before I fight him uh, you can build a cart to be pulled by the horses like you can move your ballista around you can pull a cart full of crates up to the shop to sell stuff or just to go gather and raid villages or whatever you got villages to raid you have tons of enemies there's a wolf right there in front of us so wolves, bears, crocodiles, rabbits, rats, deer, rabbits, uh, bears. I think that's all the all the enemies I've fought so far. Fire bat, demon things. You can uh, you've got a potion crafting station. You've got the regular workbench. You've got storage shelves, fire things to store things, to forge. You know your bed to spawn at torch bearers so you can see things walls to craft and what you craft out of the type of wood you use decides the color so that's made up the fences are made out of old wood these are made out of I think birch or beech wood you can breed animals you can tame animals you can I mean there's just so much to do guys so if y'all like this game you want to see more on it just leave some comments below hit the like button uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button let me know what you think and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.